We have an update on a Kelloland News investigation. Last year, in our Dangerous Dicamba Drift report, we looked into how a new formula of vaporized weed killer spreads to conventional crops. The herbicide damaged everything from specialty crops to organic farms to gardens and bees, even days after it was sprayed. A quarter million acres were estimated to be damaged by dicamba drift in 2017 in the state. Now, South Dakota's Department of Agriculture has established a new cutoff date of June 30th for farmers spraying dicamba products. Now, that follows suit with Minnesota, whose cutoff date for spraying is June 20th. Dicamba can cause more destruction to non resistant crops after soybeans reproduce later in the summer. South Dakota's new rule is now stricter than the EPA's. Dicamba maker Monsanto has said it disagrees with the cutoff dates. Shortly after our 2018 Kelloland News investigation, South Dakota classified dicamba products as restricted use pesticides.